everyone. So today we're going to be making a Jamaican curry. I am going to blend this. In this bowl I have half a cup of garlic chives. You could use scallions, green onions if you have that. Um, I have two cups of diced onions, six Thai chilies, one scotch bonnet, and one tablespoon of fresh thyme. I'm just going to add all of this to a food processor and we're going to kind of make a paste and just blend it all together. You do want to scrape down the sides just like this. I'm going to keep it a little bit chunky. It's almost there. That looks beautiful. Now I have some chicken breast here that I kind of sliced pretty thin and I put in one tablespoon of white vinegar. I'm just mixing this together and now I'm just going to rinse, drain, and pat the chicken dry. Now I put the chicken in a large Ziploc bag and we're going to add half of this mixture to the chicken. And this is what we're going to marinate the chicken. This is going to be pretty spicy, so if you cannot handle spice, or if you don't want it, if you want it mild, um, remove, like, take out the Thai chilies. Don't add them, and take out the seeds of the scotch bonnet pepper. Now to this bag, we're also going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of pureed ginger, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, Beautiful. Add that right in. Now we're going to add our spices. I have two tablespoons of Jamaican curry, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of allspice, and then I have one tablespoon of this vegan chickenless seasoning salt. And I'm going to add this. If you have a uh, bouillon powder, chicken bouillon powder, you can add that one tablespoon. We're going to mix this all together. Now you want to seal this up and make sure all of the chicken is coated in that marinade and we are going to refrigerate this for up to four hours or overnight just to let all the flavors really meld in together. It looks beautiful and it smells so good. So the next day um, we have a large pot here and to that we're going to add about two tablespoons of oil and i have the heat on medium medium high heat we're gonna wait till it kind of warms up a bit now to this i am going to add one tablespoon of jamaican curry powder and we're going to just brown it up for about a minute now after about a minute of browning this curry powder we're going to add our chicken And it cooks until the chicken is browned and caramelized. Now every so often you do want to mix it around. You can see the beautiful color on the chicken. Now once the chicken is semi-cooked through, And smells so good. I'm going to add two cups of water. Now since we did cut the chicken pretty thin, I don't want to overcook it. So I'm going to remove it. If you cut your chicken in cubes, you can leave it in there because we're going to also add potatoes to this and I don't want it to be overcooked while the potatoes are cooking for like 20-25 minutes. So I'm just going to remove all the chicken, add this back in later to finish cooking. Now that I've removed all the chicken, I'm going to add the rest of the scallions and chives and onion mixture into the here. Beautiful. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of thyme. And then one russet potato. I'm just gonna add that in. Now once I bring this up to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat for a, to a medium low, just so it keeps simmering, and I'm gonna cook it uncovered. 
covered until the potatoes are tender and the sauce is kind of thick. The potatoes help thicken the sauce and it'll take about 20 to 25 minutes. Now when there's roughly 5 to 10 minutes left on the timer, we want to add our chicken back in so it could finish cooking. And at this point you want to taste test, well right before this I taste tested for seasoning and I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I didn't add salt before because the chicken bouillon had some salt. I'm going to mix this together, cook for about 5 to 10 more minutes. You can also add just a little bit of water if you want it to be a little bit more runny. Um, but if you like it thick, you can leave it thick. Just to loosen it up a bit. And a little bit more. So the fourth of a cup and I used about half. Now before when cooking the chicken, when you have the bigger cubes, you would cook for about 10 minutes. But since I had these smaller ones, I cooked for maybe about five minutes before now tossing it back in. Now I'm going to cover it and let it cook for five more minutes. It smells so good and it looks so beautiful. Okay, I'll just plate this up with some Jamaican rice, some roti or parata, and um, eat it up. I hope you guys try it out and enjoy.